Hello and welcome to the video. This is actually the second day of filming today. Uh, I started on Monday and it was so windy. The wind was gust gusting up to 50 mile an hour and there was uh, a lot of heavy rain as well. So I got started late. Meant to do the two jobs both on the same day, but uh, I didn't just didn't get around to it with the way the weather was. I just went home instead. So. I'm gonna on this one today. To, uh, these are the first couple of proper jobs I've had since uh, starting up this spring with the pressure washer. Uh, over the winter, I've had a 21 liter a minute pump fitted onto the pressure washer, so uh, that's making a massive difference rather than the 15 liter a minute that I had before. So keep watching the video. We'll have a look at the first uh, job I've done and then we'll come back to this job and have a look at this job but if you keep watching i've got a couple of nice little bits of equipment to show you that uh, equip to clean have sent me so let's crack on and watch that first job and then we'll get back to this one our first job here is it's lovely old restaurant on the outskirts of kidderminster and he's had a new seating area built uh, with seating for an extra 40 people and he wanted it all cleaned up before he started using it for the spring season.
So now we've got all that uh, cleaned off with the whirl away. I'm going to use the first of the new pieces of equipment I've got from a quick to clean and this is a five in one uh, nozzle so on it you've got a zero degree 15 degree 25 degree 40 degree a rinser and a soap nozzle so all those are into the one uh, handy little uh, nozzle there the one little unit and all you do is twist it and that changes your your uh, different nozzles So whoever did this drive before for the customer um, recommended that it was hypoed because there was a lot of uh, white spot and black spot. Now I think my pressure washer has actually got most of that off um, and personally I wouldn't hypo it at all. There's no need to use chemicals if you don't have to. But the customer's asked for it so I will. Uh, but I'm only going to use a very weak dilution, quick spray over with it and give it a rinse off. So this comes to the next piece of equipment that uh, Equip to Clean has sent me and it's their Hypojet chemical injector. Now if you've seen the X-Jet it's very similar to that. Now, the thing I don't like about the X-Jet, one is the price because it's quite expensive, but two you have to keep changing different nozzles um, inside it to change the dilution. Well this is set at two different um, two different settings so if you pull the if you pull the jet forward like that it's six to one and if you push it back like that it comes out at nine to one so a much weaker dilution and those are the only two you've got uh, it comes with a six meters of hose so there's a good length of hose there to go into your chemical drum it doesn't come with a gun so if you've already got a gun no problem I uh, bought this gun to go with it or well they sent it me actually to go with it so you have it there um, I will put a link to this it comes out I think it's a hundred just um, just over 144 pound I think 145 pound including VAT for this so it is a lot cheaper than the uh, X-Jet you can also change the depth uh, the width of the spray by turning it like that and that changes the width of the spray so I'm going to give this a quick soak over with hypo uh, and then we'll crack on and see how it goes get it all tidied up the neighbors asked me to make sure that all the dry all the roads clean which I always do anyway give it a, a wash over clean the windows I think it's always important to make sure that you leave everything really clean you've come here to clean places you don't want them going home with them dirtier and it's a existing customer of mine anyway that I clean the windows for get all the windows nice and clean tidy up and then off we go home so we'll have a go with this it's called the hypo jet chemical injector from a quick to clean and as I said 145 I think it's 145 pound and then you'll need a gun as well so we'll give it a go and see how it works
that's another job done and it's come out really well the customers are really happy with it uh, the five in one nozzle I was really pleased with that actually um, it's great for rinsing down cutting in around the edges rinsing down and then if you find like a, a bit of weed or something a bit of moss you've missed or a bit of weed growing out you can just quickly spin it round to the 15 or the zero degree blast that out and then carry on rinsing down it takes seconds just to move it the hypo jet that was works really nicely plenty of length on it and like I said you don't have to change the uh, the, the jets, the nozzles inside it for different different uh, uh, mixes. You just pull it, and you've got the nine and one and the six and one. So again, another great tool. As I said, I'll leave the links to everything below. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.